we get an in-depth look at the division's year one content, including free updates, incursions, player trading is happening, and a more in-depth look at all DLCs. Hello there, my fellow agents. What's up? It's Robbie with Opworld Games, and let's take a detailed look at what's happening around New York City throughout the first year for the division. So yes, loot trading will eventually be happening as confirmed by creative director Julian Garrity of The Division. This has been on a lot of our minds lately, so good news, you can relax. Yes, loot trading will be happening. Also expect weekly events, Dark Zone challenges, and so much more throughout the year. But you know, our first free update will be happening in April and will give us something called incursions. Now, these will be a challenging in-game activity designed 100% around squad play. Expect new powerful equipment and weapons. So, it looks like incursions could be our raids that we have been looking for. And what's this? It appears that it could be some APC vehicle that we will be taking on in the streets of New York City. Man, oh man, the enemies are going to be tough. So, it seems like... They want a lot of players to get used to the game when it releases on March 8th and then they will release uh, the more challenging in-game offerings as uh, players get used to it after the first month it seems. And our second free update which is going to be called Conflict will be happening in May and will change how we play in the Dark Zone. We'll also be getting a new incursion in the Columbus Circle and the first expansion the Underground will be coming in June. We'll be heading into the sewers and elsewhere to take on a deadly enemy. You know, I always wanted more meaning behind the rogue agents and survival. The second expansion will be giving us just that. It will be arriving sometime in the summer and this will be about finding enough supplies in order to survive. This will definitely give us more meaning behind rogue agents. And I assure you, it will up the encounters of going rogue, definitely in the dark zone. And I really do see a lot of Daisy fans loving this. Winter will see the last stand. Your squad will be facing off against a new relentless foe. And it appears you will now be able to build defenses too. Oh my, I honestly did not see that one coming at all. It sounds like there might be some base building mechanics going on here. But not too much known is about this one, so stay tuned for more info here on Open World Games. And you know, the Season Pass will allow you to unlock all of this, of course, as well as special events, weapons, and gear. I'll include a link down in the description below for more details about the Season Pass if you want it. And plus, there will be Challenge Mode. We've heard of this previously. It's going to be for you PvE players that want more challenging uh, missions. So we currently know that we have Normal and Hard Difficulty. And then we will have challenge mode, which will just push the difficulty over the edge for those co-op missions. And you will have to have a really good squad to complete those missions now. So there you have it. Year one looks most impressive so far for the division. I'm extremely excited about the survival expansion, especially as it seems like it'll change up the game big time, especially the dark zone. And going rogue will finally have more of a purpose. You know, it seems like Ubisoft Massive has a plan in evolving the Dark Zone over time by adding survival mechanics, then some sort of defensive base building in there too. So March 8th is rapidly approaching. Look forward to more Tom Clancy's The Division very, very soon, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the Dark Zone.